Check out channelfireball.com to step up your game with videos and articles from the best in the world. You can use the code Gabby at checkout to help support this channel. Hey YouTube and welcome, we actually opened Etherworks Marvel. We're gonna go for it, baby. We're gonna do it. It's been a long time, but there are some YouTube videos of me trying to spin the wheel and just like hitting literally nothing or hitting like a two drop. This is obviously not like a good card, but we are, I, I'm never passing this. It's been a while since I've drafted Kaladish. I, I know this is a remastered version, it's been a while. Um, and there's gonna be some changes, but this used to be one of my favorite draft formats when it was out. Cloud Blazer is pretty good. Um, I don't think we want any of the other ones. Yes, it, it is, it is, it is hard, Molly, for sure. I mean, I guess we could take energy stuff. We could just prioritize going into energy big time since either work Marvel needs six to go. <laughs> is it April because it's time to blaze it? It's true. Yeah, we can't not take Etherworks Marvel. I guess it could be um, the Ether Theorist. I just feel like the Cloud Blazer is just so much better than the next few cards. And we can get plenty of energy, I think, in these colors. I, I, I do want to try the cube. Yeah, exactly, VK. My plan is to just get some, some shitters later. Like, the Thriving Turts is not bad. I don't think we want Paradoxical Altum. I thought Aether Trade Winds was okay, right? Return target permanent you control and target permanent you don't control to its owner's hand. So you get to kind of juke them. I remember liking that card. Okay. How good was the mechanic? Hello, my love. Ooh, woo. What is this? It's a lemon. Aw, thanks, Papa. It has some mescal in it. Oh, does it? <laughs> You've had a long day. Oh, shit. This does have some mescal in it. Is it okay? Yeah, I'm into it. Oh, that was good. Else, uh, the memory card's not in. Oh, I'm so glad you noticed. Thank God. Okay. Yo, it's really 5 o'clock. Oh, I did want to show you guys. There's a bunch of stuff that CFB's doing for Black Friday that I wanted to let people know here on the stream. Just because I've been working on a bunch of these campaigns. So, get some of that awareness going. Thanks for the thanks for the <laughs> miscal I made, my love. Oh, I love this. Oh, yeah. I took the, I took the marble. Hmm. Is Servant of the Conduit just, like, maybe the best thing I can oh, do here? Yeah, he should, he should be for sure. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I, I doubt it. <laughs> I don't know. Spire Patrol has to be good. It's a gold uncommon, right? Um. Yeah, oh yeah. Tap oh, target. I guess you might be in the market, though, for the stupid... This yeah. one, yes, I was looking at this no, guy. Maybe that's better, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think with Marvel in my deck, I kind of want this kind of nonsense. I do need some thickness though, because like we need a payoff for Marvel. You heard mescaline for a second. Yeah, it's just been a long day. Not like a bad day. It's just been a long day. I've had a lot of work. That's why I'm going late at four thirty or something. Aviary mechanic is interesting. Um. Because this one, you can pick up either of these idiots and replay for more mana, or more energy, rather. Um, I think that's probably the pick. Yeah, we're banned Marvel nonsense, for sure. Theories gives you more energy. I kind of like the mechanic and replay some of the nonsense. Uh, what does this one do again? Whenever an artifact enters a battle from your control, it gets flying until the turn. Mm. This is also a nice combo with Cloud Blazer. I'm just gonna take this. I'm not sure exactly which where we're gonna end up, but like I think if we just end up being some bant monstrosity, we'll be in okay shape. Oh man, I can't believe Luis made me a little miscal lime. This is so good. Hmm. Hold on, I just realized you guys can't see the whole draft. There you go. Sage? Yeah, we're taking the Sage again. I do think that we have to stop taking shitters at some point, because like we need some good hits off of Marvel. I'm all in, Molly. Like, I don't care if this deck sucks. I just I got an Aetherworks Marvel. I'm going to try to drop the deck around it, you know? Hey, Darth. Welcome. Oh, that sounds good, Shadow Wolf. I mean, better sage than wo Woodweaver's Puzzle Not Agreed. Hey, Scoonie. Welcome with a 14. I could take the, the Burb. Um, I just don't know. There's, like, nothing really good here. Uh, I think just Burb is fine. Um... Uh, Reservoir Walker's not bad. I mean, it's not good, but it's not bad. Have you heard? The, bur the burb is the word. There's the puzzle. There's a green puzzle knot. Oh, wait, wait a second. This one's actually better. How about some combos to celebrate 14 months? I sure can. Jules! Come here, puppy. Let's 
it. Okay. All right, Julie. Leave it. Julie, leave it. Look at me. Good girl. Uh, ether theorist or appetite for the unnatural. Probably just the theorist. We are kind of like actual band, like three colors. You like the serpent? Oh, the serpent is actually like a nice... Oh, baby, that was a nice hit, huh? The serpent is a thick boy. Maybe I should have taken the serpent. All right, let me put this on the sideboard. Another puzzle knot. We're all in. Holy shit, we're all in. Uh, when it GTBs, if a permanent, you control left the battlefield string, create a 1-1. One -one. Yeah, I'm probably not playing this. Okay, now we need to get some bangers. Yeah. Yeah, there's the banger. Th that's it. That's the banger. We found it. <laughs> that's exactly what we were looking for. What is this guy again? High Spy or Infusion Target. Creature gets plus pristine. You get energies. Yeah. So this one, you get the cost is reduced equal to the number of artifacts you control. And you sack two to return it, right? It's great with the puzzle boxes. Yeah. That was exciting. Ooh, I like the Arbor Back Stomper. That's another banger. Uh... It's a little awkward mana wise. But the idea is to put it in play with metal or with uh, either works Marvel anyway, right? And it gains you five life? Yeah, I'm just gonna take it. Sure, negotiations is also a great banger. I don't know, BK. I, I am here for, for getting these Arborback stompers in on the back of uh, Etherworks Marvel. Yeah, yeah, fake drag disc is not bad. What does this hawk do? When it ETBs, you get two energy. Whenever it attacks, you may pay energy. If you do another target creature, gains flying until the turn. Oh, this card was very good. I remember that card. But it, we probably just want another Stomper. Hey, Dreamy. Welcome, welcome. You can shoot negotiations so that your opponents are stuck with our Marvel. <laughs> That's some some shrewd negotiations. That was my... My laundry, by the way, not yours. Whenever you get one or more energy at a plus one, plus one counter and target to your control. I mean, this could be good. Kind of like it. We're, we're trying to get a lot of energy. But isn't revoke privilege is really good too? I don't know. I just want to take this. I don't even care if our deck is good. I just want it to be sweet. <laughs> Fabrication module is good when it works. It is. You do need to like have it work. It doesn't always work. Did I get a chance to play the new Zelda game? Uh, the Age of Calamity thing? I haven't. I played Hyrule Warriors, the OG one, and I like that game quite a bit. I just, uh, I don't know. It's been a really busy, like, couple weeks, yo. Didn't help that I got mega sick last weekend. All right, I'm going to take the Pima. The Pima Ether Seer. Ooh, there's another banger. I think if we take this banger, we're, like, done with bangers. I think we'll be, like... Between double arbor back stomp arbor arbor back stomper, metalwork colossus, and cloud blazer, I think we've got beef. Yes, exactly, Corgi Butts. That's exactly it. That's exactly where we're going. Hey Doko, it's good to see you. Hey Slam Dunk. Hey Limk. Um Hi Cadaver. I am doing I am doing great. I am staying safe and healthy and Thanksgiving got cancelled, so not doing anything interesting. We are thinking about doing a food exchange with Casa Nasty, where they'll make some food and we'll make some food. And then that's that's it. <laughs> that's the celebration. Yo, Toto! How are you? It's good to see you. I don't have to take here. I could take another burb. I kind of like having this guy. This guy's not a bad one. The implement is not bad. Yeah, it, it really is, Cup. Four are reels. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Just another one of these guys. Defense is really good. It really is. Maybe this is really nice with our bangers. It's probably better than the third sage. Let me just take blossoming defense. You're kind of until your mom is guilt tripping you for spending Thanksgiving with my dad and not visiting her, but I live with my dad. Yeah, you can't really argue with that. That doesn't have good logic. What card is that in the bottom? This one? The Pendulum of Patterns. It enters the battlefield, you gain three life. Uh, I don't really... I don't think I'm playing any of these, to be honest. Uh, I'll take the Implement now. Oh, how good is this guy? Crew 366.
Mm. Oh, wait. Exchange control of target artifact. You control and target artifact or creature you don't control. Is Shrewd any good? I really can't tell. Uh, I'll take it just to put it in the sideboard mostly. Return to... Nah, I'll take trade wins. Get a second one. I don't think I want any of these. Oh, we do have puzzle knots. You're right. That actually sounds like we might be doing some haggling. No big deal. Ooh, I do like Rishkar. Rishkar's not bad. Is there anything else that is good here? The eagle, the burb is pretty good, but it's not really... I don't think we're really that white. Like, I don't think we're going to play... I think we're just blue-green Marvel. Rish Rishkar is a big pog champ. I wouldn't mind getting the prism back. I think that'd be sweet. But I think this is really good also with fabrication modules. Yeah, BK, we're on the same plan. Let me take the aviary mechanic out. Uh, we're missing... We can definitely splash the cloud blazer. We are missing some... I don't know. This deck's looking pretty good. Uh, Rish card does not color fix, I don't think. It, it just makes you tap for green. Let me double check. Yep. They tap for green specifically. Is this Midnight Oil? Yeah. That card was cool. We're not a hidden stockpile deck. We can't really play it. Oh, a tune with an ether is perfect. It both lets us get the blue source or the white source for cloud back. Or cloud back. I don't know what I'm saying. I read Arbor back and Cloud Blazer. I'm just losing it. Holy shit. Better have some more mezcal. It really is, Gatekeeper. Our deck is really sweet. I know. Formerly banned in standard. Ooh, wasn't the best Jerry really good? Uh, at the beginning of your deck, you scry one whenever you cast a creature spell. You may pay green if you do draw a card. Because I, if I recall, Bestiary was just absolutely broken and we should take it. Look at the art of this card though, isn't it sweet? Skywhaler shot, boom, got him, baby. Ooh, Imperial Voyager. Flying Trample, when it deals combat damage, you get that much energy. There's a Hunt the Week in this pack too and a Druid of the Cow, but I think this looks amazing. Finally, what she draft the Greenway Strip Deck Vintage Cube it was great to see how happy you were drafting playing that deck. Thank you, Tilt City. I feel like I just like, it was like a dream come true, you know? I was so happy. This deck is pretty boggers. I love it. It started out kind of sketchy. I didn't realize the Imperial Voyager sounded like that. Um... Oh, I did miss I did miss BK's weed joke. I want to see it though. Gabby got a cloud blazer at 420, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, it's close enough too. That's that's sweet, BK. I liked it. Do we have any removal? Now nah, removal's gonna be removing the player, I think. Uh I think I'll just take the theorist. I don't really think we're playing any of those cards. I don't want eager construct. I don't want the workshop assistant. Honestly, thriving church is not bad. It's like a decent blocker. And if we have energy, we can put a counter on it, which makes it an even better blocker. Yeah, I'm going to take church. Yeah, church some regrets. Wasn't this card like just pretty decent? Improvised flying. Draw three cards. If you control no artifacts, discard a card. But we have a lot of artifacts. Ooh, do we want to get ambitious? Oh, there's also a puzzle knot. Yes. If we're trying to do some haggling, we need more puzzle knot. All right. All right. I'm going to take the puzzle knot. Do -do 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 -do. These are all bad. We're not playing any of these. I guess I could see us wanting... Oh, no, no, no. I'm playing Premier Draft, so there's no sideboard. Sand Sculpture is okay. Oh, this is a haggling stream now. It's my specialty in d and I'm good at haggling. Ish. <laughs> Another shrewd negotiation. Mm, I kind of, it kind of works in this deck. I don't know. I'm gonna take it. I don't know if we're gonna start it, but I want to take it. Uh, nope. I could see Burb maybe. Nope. Mm, nope. Yeah, I think I'm in for the shrewd, Molly. I I feel like between triple Woodweaver's puzzle knot. I guess we'd never really give them fabrication module or anything. Oh, I didn't mean for whatever we took to take. What does a strip break more do? When it ETBs, you get four energy and you can pay to make it into like a changeling. I kind of like the Amore. 
Think you didn't get enough enough cheap artifacts for two shrewds. It's possible, BK. We'll we'll look at deck build here in a second. Hey, Keytown! Thank you so much for the 24 months! I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. I do not want that. Uh yeah. Thank you so much, Keytown. How are you? Hey Rob Flo, back on the arena train. Actually, let me make sure that um cardboard live is working. I just haven't had a reason to play arena in a long time. It's like I like playing on Arena better than I do on Magic Online. It's just a, uh, it's just a question of what format I want to play. Chad, have you had a chance to play the the like Corset Cube? Because I wanna, I was thinking about playing that tomorrow, but I wanted to see if people thought it was fun or if it sucked. Uh, it's not remembering my password. Oh, stupid. And by it's not remembering my password, I mean I don't remember my password. <laughs> Marshall was jamming it. Did he like it? Did he think it was fun? <laughs> I like that carrot boy. Ice over could be D's. Hold on. Let me authorize this thing. Uh, yeah, that's on MTGO. Next step. Next step. Full screen. Check status. Okay. Uh, we should have the thing back. Let's do some deck buildies, shall we? Um, this is 49. We definitely have some stuff that we want to cut. Like, I'm not sure about the Blossoming Defense. I do like the Theorists. I do like the Shayla's Claim and the Servant. I like the Module. Uh, the Appetite, we don't have to start. The Trade Winds, I don't even know if you want both. The Pifa looks mediocre. Um, the Leave in the Dust looks medium. I like the Amore. This does not look good. The Pima Aether here seems good. The Marvel's great. That's a whole deck. Uh, just one shrewd negotiation, probably. Probably no ambition. Uh, Double Stomper, Cloud Blazer, Thick Boy, and Metalwork Colossus. So we need one more cut, probably. What does Pima Aether Seer do? I can show you, BK. When it ETBs, you get an energy equal to the greatest power among creatures you control, and then you pay three and target creature blocks this turn of Able. Clearly, gatekeeper. Yeah, if I re if I recall that card correctly, it was pretty decent. I could also see cutting one Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot, but I kind of like having the Shrewd Negotiation and the Triple Puzzle Knot. It's also just good in this deck. Moray is kind of bad. I think it's a cut. Was the Moray bad? I like that it gives you four energy on ETB. Um, Ether Seer and Colossus is a combination. Which one's the Ether Seer again? Ether Seer. Yeah, but 4 minute all 5 is trash. Oh, the Ether Seer. Sorry, the Pima. Pima, Pima, Pima. That's true, Kara Boy. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's, I think it's either the Shipbreak Moray or the third Wood Weaver's Puzzle Knot. But since we have the Shrewd Negotiation, I kind of want to give people the Puzzle Knot. Yeah, I think so. BK, what would you cut? What would you cut from this deck? We just need one cut. And I like all the stuff at the bottom, I think. Also, this mana's bad. We don't need double white. You'd cut a stomper. Man, the stomper's so good, though. Like, the stomper's also something you can just ca cast. Mm. You think you cut the moray? Yeah. I th all right, I can get behind that. Sorry, moray. One of those goes out, and I think we want another forest since we have... Blossom is pretty good. Uh, we have Servant of the Conduit and also Tune with Ether, which makes the forest a little bit better. You don't have that many energy sinks, and you're really good at it. Sure. You like the Mori more than the two one that only gains energy? Yeah, I mean, I, I mostly have it because it's a cheap card, and this format can be fast. Let me do some switcheroonie. I want to make this one the default. There you go. Um, Yogi, I think Blossoming Defense is just pretty good. It's a, just a good card. I don't think that one is as close to a cut as everything else. Basically. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Thank you, Dr. Uggs. I appreciate the 12 months. Happy anniversary to you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, cheap creatures are better than they look because of Rishkar Fab Module and Bestiary. Yep, 
BK, look at BK. BK is so eloquent. It's almost like he hosts a podcast about actually constructed, but you know what I meant. <laughs> oh no, why is my arena going so slow? Oh, it's Mad Girl with a Box! I've played Among Us with Mad Girl with a Box. This is cool. Yo, look at this hand. Amazing. Is it too loud for you, by the way? Let me know if it's too loud for you. Beep, 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 beep. Happy, Creative! Happy, 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 Thank you so happy, much for the hot happy, happy, nine months. Nine oh, I love it. I couldn't love anything more than just a Defender Reach creature at this point of the game. It's amazing. Uh, so we definitely want to play the Theorist so that we can Rishkar next turn. This hand is nuts. Oh, did you see the... I haven't played yet, so I hadn't seen the energy animation. That was pretty cool. What does this do? You get an energy, pay three to deal two damage to target player or planeswalker. Okay. Target up to two creatures. Got him. I can't cast anything else, right? I can't pay an energy and scry one, but I don't think I, uh, I want to do that. Good volume. Nice, nice, nice. No, I won't, BK. I'm trying to set up because this is whenever a permanent you control is put into a graveyard, you get an energy, and then you pay... And I have three. And then this will give me three energy when I play it. Sure. So yeah, we probably want to go like Aether Seer into... This is three life and you get three energy resolve. How much is Marvel to activate? Six energy. Yeah, Mad Girl's on like the mono dirtles. Ooh. Oh man, that's like really hard for me. Okay, so change in plans. If we play fabrication module, we can still play puzzle knot. And uh, I can put the counter on Rishkar. And then next turn, yeah, 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 I'm gonna do this. All right. Yeah, we're going off. I'm gonna put it on Rishkar because then the P my Aether will give us an extra energy when she ETBs. Yo, I need a land. I need a land next turn. <laughs> Smuglu. They're at five energies. Don't I need any more? Oh, sorry, Etherworks Marvel's just a four. What am I talking about? You're totally right. Um, yeah, we're at six. So pay, look at the top six cards. So I'm gonna do it at the end of their turn, I guess, but I need to tap this for, oh, like that. Oh, and a rampage! Thank you for the 45. I appreciate I that. Oh, yeah, we're playing slot machines. Don't you worry. So this incurs for two, but it can't really block me well. I'd marvel again if you hit ambition or blazer. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. All right. I'll do it now then. All right. Spin to win, baby. Moosers, how are you? It's good to see you. Best Jerry or Shayla's claim? I kind of like the best Jerry. That will draw some million cards. Because we have enough energy from our hand to do the thing. Yee. Yeah, I'm gonna do the best, Jerry. Yeah, Marvel cast cards is really stupid. <laughs> I think, um, given what's going on, I'm actually not gonna attack with Rishkar. I, I just want to make sure I don't die to bullshit, mostly. If if Marvel would have put cards into play, it probably wouldn't have had to have gotten banned. The fact that it cast them and Eldrazi were in the format meant that you would just cast the Eldrazi. I would love to scry. Um, this is really good with Bestiary. Keep it. Oh, my Serpent is also for cheap. So I'm at zero energy, right? So if I play the Pima, I'll get four. 
Um, or if I do servant and puzzle knot, I have five. So that's not exactly enough. I can also negotiate and trade a mobile garrison. I don't know if that's like super necessary at the moment. Could puzzle knot and crack the puzzle knot and you can spin again? Uh, yes. Crack puzzle knot and puzzle knot does give us enough. Yeah, that sounds fun. I want to do it. <laughs> Just keep going on the Rish car, I think, because the, the Pima at some point is going to go off. Okay, now we can put it on the Theorist, I think, because then it can block the mobile garrison. So we're at four. Um, Actually, I think playing just... Oh, hold on. I need to pay one for this, right? Whenever you cast a spell, play green. Yeah, so we don't have enough. That's fine. We can just play this. Yo, Rish car is delivered to us this game. My god. Keep going here. Yeah, <laughs> six foot, I'm glad you're here. This deck is so cool. This is a good throwback to Kaladesh. How wonderful. Um, Yeah, just this guy. Don't have the mana, sadly. It will give us mana, though. Or energy, rather. Um, now here, I think. It can't block the mobile garrison yet, but that's not a huge deal. Oh man, a rich car. Not like these. That's nice. Now this can block the mobile garrison. Our deck is really good, Caroline. <laughs> it's It's got a lot of bullshit going. Okay, I'm not super worried about that. Um, that gives us five life, but we lost the Rish card. I actually think we need mana now because we lost the Rish card. So let's bottom it. Yeah, I think I think we have to. Sadly, we're at five. Um, if we play Servant of the Conduit. Oh, man, not having green is pretty brutal, huh? I guess we could go island and then, no, go like this. Like that. Plus draw. Nice, nice, nice. We're at five. We can just chill for now. Yeah, and this is three to crack. We're kind of constrained with green carrot boys, so I think I just want to get the gear seeker serpent out and not die to nonsense. Like, we've got some really good... Yeah, we have to take a turn off of spinning. Like, I think it's better to set it up so that we're in better shape to spin next turn. I just want to make sure we don't die to this stuff. And I think developing our mana is important since we lost, lost the Rish car. Okay, I want to put almost anything, like, anything that's not a green source I don't want. <laughs> Just cost zero right now? This spell costs access to cast where X is a total converted mana cost of non-creature <laughs> artifacts you control. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> that's kind of poggers. Um, let me just play this and draw. We're at 22. We're still in great shape. Oh my god, stupid stomper! Fuck. Oh no. And now I can't crack the puzzle knot either. Good beats. This is four, I get an energy? Well, if I do that, I can still spin. I probably want to do that. Um, just you. <laughs> Shut up, Molly. Why is it gonna be like that? Why can't you just be happy that we put such a cool deck together? 
Why is it always gotta be haters, man? Always haters. Uh, I think next turn maybe we'll attack... Uh, I just don't really think we have a good attack here. They're just gonna, like, double crew the garrison and they eat my shit. I will probably next turn, Alana. I kind of feel like we should be giving this thing unblockable. I'm not sure. They just have, like, a bunch of stats on blocks, you know? We've got 18 cards. I don't think I want island. I just want green sources. There you go. Uh, so this one... It's when it attacks. Needs to pay one. Oh my god, are we just gonna get 10 energy off of the Metalwork Colossus? Is that true? Equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. Alright, I gotta do this first. Let me play off force too. That's- that's freaking poggers, man. Nice. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna just jam now. I think I want to start just getting in there with everything. You do have 11 cards in your deck? No, I have 16. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm at 27 and I have a million energy and I have an Aetherworks Marvel that I haven't spun. Uh, Cardboard Live could be lying to you. I- this- I would trust this. This says I have 16. <laughs> um, we could make the- Nah, I don't think I need to bother making the console Skygate block. CBL is scamming, I think. That's fine. That's fine. They're gonna double block and put like the monitor also, maybe. Okay, that's just a chump. Seems fine. I can't put a plus one plus one. Is there a way I can put a plus one plus one counter if I use the Marvel right now? Yes, I should use it in case I can put a counter with fabrication module if I make energy on my gate on my serpent. Oh, hello. Okay. So, I'm not gonna... I can't draw a card from this, but... I can put a counter... Yeah, we can just let the Aether Theorist die. I think that's no big deal. And we'll basically kill... Oh no, sorry, these are three fours. Never mind, I wanted to do it on the Theorist and I would have lived. And I would have been able to kill... Yeah, I didn't... I got confused, Molly. We're fine, though. We are gonna lose the theories when we didn't need to. We would have traded with a monitor. Um. Damage has already happened, right? Let's put counters here. Maybe it'll be big enough to attack past the Skygate at some point. Yeah, why did they double block on that one? It wasn't doing anything. I thought that they... I thought that they put lethal power in front of it. I guess I... Sure, that's whatever. Can we haggle before the game ends? Ah, uh, we've got 15 cards. I don't think I want a white source. Actually, land is fine. I, we do want more lands. Yo, noob and blonde! Thank you, welcome! I'm early for a full year, Bogchia. You... We have already enough to do the thing. This is when it deals combat damage. I actually want to just this. To put it on the Cloud Blazer so that the Blazer can attack. Yeah, I'll draw a card, why not? Ooh, we have an e Arborback Stomper on the top. Hi, DC, welcome. 
DC, we drafted such a cool deck. Look at this. We're, we're really comboing off. Uh, I won't draw off of... Oh, no, maybe... Maybe I want to... Oh, yeah, this is fine. It's, it's, it's truly wonderful. This deck's been going off. I will pay... No, nah, I'm gonna decline because we have the Stomper on top. But here, we can just give you some energies. Alright. I'm just gonna send with everybody. Sure. We can't spin one more time. So this has to get blocked. This has to get blocked. This has to get... No, this has to get blocked, right? Last one, baby! Got him! I'm just gonna decline at this point. Sanjay, that sounds really cool. Got him, baby! Wow, our deck is so cool, chat. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Opening Aetherworks Marvel was like the best thing we could have done. Mad Girl with the Vox! How are you? Thanks for letting me play that out. That was really cool. We drafted a fun uh, Aetherworks Marvel deck. It was a good time. BK did see this in the future and told us about it. It was wild. How have you been enjoying uh, Kalidish Remastered, Mad Girl? GG's, thanks for the games. How is it the game, drunks? <laughs> That's funny, Mad Girl. Kalidish, your favorite set ever. I love it too. It was one of my favorite sets when it was out. I really, really love it. Vlad, GG. Alrighty. We shall do the thing. Ooh, baby. Can you change your MTGA username? I believe you can. Dr. Ongs, thank you for the gift of the mad girl. So sweet, Dr. Ongs, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Yes, we got Marvel, this is a keep. All right, so we're gonna go Sage into Rishkar into Marvel. <laughs> he owes you for throwing me like that. <laughs> Kaladish was your first full draft format. Oh my gosh! Ark, I always... I know that you are, like, newer-ish to magic, but it always surprises me how much newer-ish you are to magic. If you know what I'm saying. You and you. I don't know, Ryan. Somebody at Wizards was probably like, this deck is the coolest. Why is this floating? It's not even crude. I don't buy it. You are very wise for your years or something similar to that. <laughs> just step out. Please just step out. If I draw a land, I can marvel and puzzle not and spin. If I draw blue source, I can go Marvel Theorist Spin. Okay. So can't block artifact creatures. And they're deciding to get in there. And they're gonna attack me. I'll take it. Um. Yeah, that's fine. So if we go this into Marvel and Spin, right? Yeah, that works. They're a blue deck. I think I'd rather just do now. Um, not great, yo. It's true, Ark. We do hate not flying. It's a rebuy. Yeah, we just get to crack it and go again. I just want to hit Metalwork Colossus. It's six cards. It kind of—it's kind of a bummer that they don't show you what else you're seeing. 
They just show you the cards you can play, which is weird. It is bizarre. Yeah, you should be able to see, right? It's weird that they don't let you. Because, like, if you're doing it in paper... Ooh, that's the moray. They can use a moray to crew the, the skiff. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Because there's one to crew, right? Alright, my opponent's getting aggressive. Luckily, we have some Terra Stompers in here. Or whatever they're called. Uh, let me go one, two, three. Actually, probably that. Uh, do, do. Resolve. Resolve. All right, we're at seven. So, oh yeah, I am in full control. You're right about that, man. I'm just, like, not hitting the stuff I want. I guess it's just another puzzle knot. Another! We can crack the second puzzle knot on their turn. We don't need to tap these guys yet. Um, This guy could pump to, what, a 4-4-1? Four, four, we could also swing for six then, because this gives us life anyway. Yeah, maybe we swing, but not for six, because we want to crack the other puzzle knot. So we swing with just Rishkar. And then leave back the Sage. Because at some point, we're also going to hit our, our good stuff, right? Like, at some point, we're going to hit the Metalwork Colossus. There's double Terra Stomper in there. Sure. I'd rather have the mana next turn, DC, to potentially play something and uh, keep cracking the puzzle knots. Like, I actually think you're wasting a lot of mana if you um, don't send with this. Or if you leave this back, rather. Are they crewing the skiff? For sure, mad girl. At some point I stopped drawing with the best Jerry because we were just like... I just had a million cards in hand I couldn't even play. Arena players love the energy turret. <laughs> Alright, the skiff's getting in there. Yeah, they're not even getting in there for that much, so I'm not super worried about this. Sure. They're at two. This costs three to send. Okay. Nice, nice. We're at 25 with eight to spin. Oh! Shrewd negotiation, eh? So we could... We could take the turret and give them a puzzle knot. They can crack the puzzle knot, which is, like, a little annoying. But... Oh, shoot! I don't have blue. You're right. Just spin the wheel, I guess. Uh, ooh, I like the Pima Ether Seer. It will give us three more energy. There's also the Bestiary, though. So there was an island on top, rip. Oh yeah, you're right. It's probably the best, Jerry. It's kind of hard to say no to this one. Okay. Um, since I'm just gonna crack Puzzle Knot, we can attack with both. 
Part of the problem is I don't think this game is going to be one where best Jerry is going to be very good because I think we're kind of just killing them right now. Sure, they're at three and then this one cracks for two, but then I get to crack my puzzle knot. I also think uh, the shrewd negotiation is not going to be useful. Like, I think I'd rather crack the puzzle knot because this will give us enough to spin again because it's three for cracking and one for going to the yard. It really is dreamy. Holy moly. We're getting hard carried. I love that card. They're in a pretty bad spot, though, that they're just doing this. You've gone through three spins. That's 15 cards, right? So that means all your bombs are clumped together, meaning you'll hit all four bombs every four spins. Yee! I mean... I'm not too worried if, like, the bombs are clumped. It's just a matter of hitting some of them eventually. We're, we're gonna hit one of the bangers at some point or another. Alright, so we're at six. Love it. Scry. Um, yes, we do want that. Cool. Mmm... That's step one, Pog. I guess we start first by doing this. <laughs> of course. Of course we hit everything here. Um, I like the Metalwork Colossus. I, I like it too, Molly. I think it's just going to kill them. And I do want to pay for this. Turts! Turts McGurts. Okay, so this is down to cheap, but I can't play it yet. I'm at zero energy. This gives me three, but I don't have any more to crack, sadly. And if nothing goes to the yard, I don't get to spin again next turn. So I guess we start by... They have five energy. I think we can attack with both, right? They could just pillow fight, but if they pay anything, we just trade. Maybe I'll just play the theorist and draw a card. It's just not even that good. Pfft, there's the stomper again. We'll play this next turn. I'm... Hmm... They're at eight. Yeah, actually, it's fine. They're just in a pretty bad spot. It Like, it, getting stuff in the yard helps us to pump up the marvel since we can't next turn unless something dies. Plus, like, I'm fine removing permanence. We're about to play, We, you know, like, they need to keep something back for the Tenten. Oh, I like that emote, yeah, comma. It was really cute, the ferocious lion one. They don't have to use the energy though, right? And they have just traded. All right, so I get some energies. Nice, and now with turrets we get to spin again. Oh, is that ferociously Steph's emote? E yes it is, okay. I didn't actually look at the channel name. What a cool deck. Our mana is the only ferocious greed is your favorite. Our mana is the only thing that's like super sketchy. What is that one? Mind blown. That's cute. Oh, Steph, I think used Ugu Bear. I used Ugu, Ugu Bear too. That that, like I recognize that style anywhere. It looks like Ugu Bears. A tune with Ether. I kind of like a tune, yeah. It also lets us shuffle, because a bunch of our stuff is at the bottom. Though, we want to hit once more before shuffling. That is for sure. So we're at five. So let's do this. We're going to go turts plus draw. 
And if we don't hit a land, whatever, it's not a huge deal. Okay, so now we can go this, and then I want to shuffle. Okay, whatever. We're at 18. Pay. Nice, so now we can attune and get another blue source. Yeah, we don't need the white source yet. And then play that. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. We did the thing. This deck is so good. This I love this deck so much. This thing doesn't serve a purpose attacking, so I'm gonna work Colossus it is. Shirt sure hurts under the bus. Or are they gonna try to bounce my Metal or Colossus? So I got that Blossoming Defense ready, baby! I... May as well play this, but I won't pay for the f this, because I want to hold up Defense. Decline. Her Discord server has an emote that is the line emote with a hand on the mouth. Oh yeah, that's cute though. Ooh, woo, what is this? Is this the bounce? Pay unless I pay three. I don't really care about that. Yeah, for real, Mabo. Four reals. Sure. So this is pay two. When it attacks, you may pay two. And if you do, it gets a plus one, plus one counter. We don't really need it. Turts is just a blocker. Are you serious, Kara Boy? That's really cool. I feel like I had to go... <laughs> I had to go hard with... Um, um, like, trying to respawn to get shinies and still I didn't do a good job. Dissolve. That's cool, Carrot Boy. Shiny hunting is a for real thing and it's not easy. Oh my gosh, Thriving Turtle, look at you. Thriving Turts. It's been a long time. The return of the Thriving Turts. Why do they keep hovering over Turts? Oh, I think they're trying to figure out if I can just like put all my energy into the turtle. And yeah, that would make some sense. I don't think I really need this. Okay. Mm. I think I can just attack with everybody. I don't have anything that makes energy, right? No. They have to block the Metal War Colossus. This can't block artifact creatures, so they have no blocks there. Okay. Oh, they're gaining three life. How many drafts have I done for Kaler? This is my first one, Kara Boy. I don't really care about losing the Servant. I just want to hold up the Blossoming Defense. And if it dies, I just get to spin, so it's not even that big a deal. Yeah, exactly, Crazy Wrist. Exactamente. Um, let me play this. I kind of would have preferred if it didn't tap double green for that, but whatever. Yes, Marvel's really stupid. It really is truly dumb. Um... Let me just do this now. Hmm. I could have done that to get 10 energy, but I think it's just worth it to... I'm gonna decline. To pull a Cloud Blazer. And they were gonna scoop to whatever we played. The Pima and the stupid Metalwork Colossus are a really cool combo. I don't think I ever had that in original Kaladesh. What does Torch of Defiance do again? I don't remember. I do not remember. 
Are there no no challengers? Only cowards? True Viper Magus. Um, yeah, this looks pretty good. I would like another creature, but I will just run out the Rish car on three if we don't get another one. Like, that's fine. We should just get a blue source with this. The mana is the only thing that kind of sucks in this deck. What? That's so cool, Noob and Blonde. That is awesome. Um, Island. Uh... Yes, I love this deck so much, Fats. It's really, really good. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so play that. Step three is probably just forced into Rishkar. Ooh, I like Igorino. I would love to do the thing. Huh. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think I'll wait, just because I think it makes sense to wait on the Rish card. Though, I could potentially play Rish card or Arbubek Stomper next turn if I just play the Rish card now. I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like just taking it slow and getting some of these uh, energy generating thingies going. This way also, if I hit a Puzzle Knot, I'll be able to Rish card. This will have no Summoning Sickness plus Forest and we can play the... Puzzle Knot, since we have three. People thought it was only the second coming of JTMS because I had four abilities. That's true. People see four abilities on a card and they're like, oh my god. Wow, they're missing land drops, I think. Mayhaps. Or maybe they're just, they're okay and they're all good. Uh, we don't have two mana. I might as well attack with Theorist. Uh, yes, we, we got to go off again, six foot. So, so far, we're two for two. This deck is really, really cool. Oh, they're Grixis. Would you look at that? So they're definitely planning on killing my mana generating creature. I think they're just going to kill my Rish card, which puts me... Straight target creature or vehicle. Daring... Wait, what is this card? I don't remember this card. Daring Demolition? Was this really in the set? I don't even remember. Uh, let's just play Stomper. It was in the set? I don't remember it, I swear. Not too bad they killed my Rish card, though. Yeah, I didn't remember this card at all. Four mana, sorcery, destroy target creature or vehicle. It's a pretty good card. It was there. Oh, shit. Enraged Giant. Improvised Trample Haste. So, yeah, it was a little cheaper. Trample. They chose not to attack, though. Interesting. So... We could just play both. Okay, well, we're set up for the Marvel whenever we draw it. We should not attack here, though. We want to block that there. I feel like black wasn't good in Kaladish Limited. It wasn't as good, I don't think. I think green was very good just because it had all the energy stuff. They don't like my Voyager. Look at them hovering over my Voyager. Stop! I think I will start scrying because I'm at 8 and I really want to hit Marvel. Artifact spells you cast cost 1 less to cast, sure. Yeah, that totally makes sense, creatives. I think it's actually healthy to take little breaks here and there. I don't want another puzzle knot, not really. I just want... Baby. That's it. That's the cash monies. They don't have Metallic Rebuke, do they? Please, come on. They had Metallic Rebuke. Fuck me. That is so sad. Well, F. Attack. I know, we're not gonna get to do the thing. We do get to scry with a Theorist, which is good. Like, we, we're gonna start aggressively scrying because, like, this was our big mana sink, you know?
We're actually gonna set an upkeep stop, maybe. Oh. That's bad. Uh, so if I'm gonna have everything bounce next turn, I probably do want lands. I can keep that on top. And they're gonna put something down in play. What does that guy do again? Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under control, try one. That was pretty rude, honestly. I don't need the upkeep stop anymore. Draw. So, what's the best we've got here? Stomper, is that it? Could do Imperial Voyager Theorist, and then we have Medium Blocks. Yeah, this looks good though. Also, this lets us start scrying. Yeah, it's true, Ark. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree. I'm so sad we didn't get to resolve the Marvel. Our deck is, like, not that great without Marvel. I would love to scry. Yep. We're gonna beat them with a bunch of Arbor back stompers, I think, is the plan. Ah, uh, no thanks. Oh my god, Lashweed Lurker! I used to love that card. That card was good. It was the, like, blue-green one that uh, put a card on top of your opponent's deck, right? What is that thing again? Can't be blocked by artifact creatures. It's a 5-5. Five, five. Costs 7 mana. Holy moly. Alright. I loved blue-green emerge too! It was so good! We're just gonna keep playing Arborback Stompers until they stop attacking us. Oh, actually, maybe 5 6. Oh, yeah, you're right, because that just blocks a little bit better. Just gonna kill that guy, I think. Okay. We're doing fine. Oh, that's a little spooky. Artifact you control and target artifact creature you... Yes, we want to trade for the serpent. We're going to do some haggling. Are you ready to haggle? They're going to get a Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot and we're going to take their serpent. <laughs> and it's on tap too. Choose a target. Uh, target artifact that you control and thing that you don't control. Ship it. Should we cast our serpent first? No, because I don't want them to, um... I don't want them to attack with it and give them blockable or something. Eh, we don't even really need to attack with this. This is blocking the stupid eager constructs. Yeah, I just don't really want to take five. Especially since we don't have a thing that's going to be, like, the thing that, that really turns things in our favor. Like, that was going to be Marvel, but it's gone. <laughs> I like it, lunch supper. Keep using... Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot. We're kind of not into these anymore. Mm. Maybe just... Oh, I can't. Because I lost my Puzzle Knot. It's fine. Lady! Lady, how are you? It's really good to see you! I hope you're doing awesome. Let's see if our armor back resolves. I'm bringing armor back. How was your day at work, lady? It is a lovely to see you. They have a little sum sum, but I don't know. They can't activate this, so it can't be that. It's not these guys, right? I'm gonna start attacking with a Voyager. BK, look at what happened to my Marvel. I got countered, yo. Oh, they can't because of Prism. You're right. 
You're not wrong about that. Wow, I gotta thank Louise for this lemonade. It was wonderful. Uh, pass to attacks. Are they attacking though? I doubt it. Look at our squad. It's thick. Um, I might hold on. I might set upkeep stop here. I don't really want this. I just want good cards. I could take a white source for the Cloud Blazer. That'd be sweet. Thank you so much, Espeon. Aw, so sweet. I'm glad that you survived, lady. I've been having a good day. I had a super busy day, too, because it's Black Friday this week. Um, But, you know, all good stuff. I am excited to do... Ooh, woo. We have no artifacts, yo. I do curse the author, but we're at a spot where we can just bottom land. Because we have a bunch of stuff that we can keep doing anyway. I can't take this. See, like, you're just so likely to keep bottoming and eventually getting an island that it's just makes sense for you to... Um... So, here's a plan. I'm going to attack with a Voyager this turn, not the other ones. And then next turn, we're just going to just <laughs> shove. Spent the weekend watching Lord of the Rings movies for the first time in your heart can't take- You hadn't seen Lord of the Rings? Holy moly. Whoa! <gasps> Holy shit. That's gonna flashback Metallic Rebuke. Oh my god. Wow. That was some- That was some action. Holy fish moly. I mean, we're still doing fine. I was not expecting that. My god. I wonder if they're going to try to jam with everybody. I'm not sure. Yeah, my shoving plan just kind of went out the window. Oh, hey! Mm. So this can just block here, and this can just eat here, and these can't really attack through these. I can just keep shipping with the Imperial Voyager and play my Cloud Blazer. They're also dead to two activations, it's true. They could activate the Puzzle Knot, and that actually changes things a little bit. I think I'd rather play the Cloud Blazer and just keep attacking with a Voyager. Yo, Seiyas, thank you so much for the 11. I appreciate that. Yeah, the Puzzle Knot, they can actually activate because they have the Prism. It's weird. Maybe we'll get something cool here. Eh, it's not bad. Hit with you. Seven cards left. No, we don't have seven cards left in deck. I don't know what's wrong with um, Cardboard Live. It's just drunk. It's just saying things. Don't worry, chat. I'm gonna play this thingy. Just gonna chomp. Maybe I should have played the Theorist, because the Theorist blocks these guys better, and also the Theorist can scry. I have 16 energy, what am I going to do with all this energy? Another Fen Holler. CBO only shows the number of lands? <laughs> okay, cool. Well, we have 18 cards left. We're doing just fine. Oh, hold on. Nope. Ooh, I do like best Jerry. We're at 17. Yeah, we can still do this. Oh, hold on. No, I actually wanted to activate. This time I did want to activate the serpent, but I got too excited. That's fine. One, two, three, four. Sure. We got 20 energy. Don't worry. We're covered for life. Okay, well, we're still gonna be fine next turn. Oh man, yeah, once you get over 30, you can never have this much energy. This is about as much energy as the Wild Nakatl has. The mild one. She's not mild at all! It's false advertising. Let's 
cards are cool. I'm just gonna shovel everyone. Oh wow, we're just shoving, huh? Actually, why don't we just eat that guy? Eat that guy. Chump there. Yeah, maybe we don't put Serpent in combat at all. Can't be blocked by artifact creatures. I mean, this is just 10 damage. Um, we get to eat this guy, and then we just chump this 5-6. That seems reasonable. Th this is just a desperation attack. Like, that's all it is. I don't feel like there's, like, that much substance behind it. They just know they're dead next turn. They have to, like, make some moves. Show me your moves. I love it, Dreamy. I could use an Aetherflex Reservoir, we're like halfway there. Sure. Yeah, I was that young. Nope. Ah, uh, yeah, that seems good. Good way to protect the Gear Seeker. Can you not tap me so heinously? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um. That also does. Oh, they have no cards in hand. All right, so we can just. We can just send with everybody. It doesn't really matter. Attacking with everybody is just actually stupid. I just need to pump up this guy. They don't have any way to respond to this. In fact, it's worse that I actually attack with a Stomper and the Theorist because now they have to line up blocks. <laughs> oh, hold on. They didn't even block. Love it. Gold teal three, baby! Going up in life. <laughs> that was funny. We should have just sent with it too. We didn't need to send with everybody else. There was just nothing that could happen there. Nice. Ooh, Zendikar Rising pack. Let's open that real quick. Ship it! Shatter Skull Charger. Cool. Where are we? It's up here. All right, I need to go use the restroom real quick, so let me be right back. Update Cardboard Life for Kaladish, then it'll show the deck properly, also cards. It's updated, I updated it. I updated it just before I went live, so I don't think I can change anything. I think this is on the Cardboard Live end. All right, I will be right back. Let me put on my burb screen. Displayed stuff is cool. I don't find that they're especially good at staying up on the wall. I feel like that's happened to me multiple times. I think I think it's still open six foot. I just haven't really done donation decks in a long time. Yo, Miss Born! Uh, welcome back with a 20 months. I very much appreciate that. Let me get rid of the burb. How's everybody doing today? Hi, Miss Born. How are you? We've got a little Poocherina. You want to take a look at her? Poochie! Hi! Hi, Dogarita! Oh, good girl. Oh, snap! This hand looks great. We don't have enough to spin it yet. How long have I had Julie now? It's been a while now. I adopted her when she was nine months old. She just turned three this like September ish. Maybe October. I think her birthday was actually October. Oh man. They're kind of going ham. So yeah, I think I've had her for like over two years. Hi. Hi, cutie pie. 
He's a good dog. I really don't he's killing him. This is a really aggressive duck. Time really does fly. I remember when we were doing this, like, uh, a stream because initially stream was going to pick Julie's name, but then when we adopted her, she just had a name. So we didn't want to change her name at that point. Even though it's, like, not a huge deal to change a dog's name, we just thought that it might make her transition from her old place to here easier. As it turns out, she was just, like, off her old owners and didn't care about it at all. Whoa! Uh, not good, not good, yo. Mmm. Um... <laughs> she did BK. She was not a good dog to start. I think I'm just gonna play the Marvel and just hope for the best. Like, next turn I can play the Puzzle Knot and, um, spin, and hopefully we can hit another Arborvac Stomper to stabilize or something. Also, I might just be able to play the Metal Work Colossus, so that doesn't seem super good right now since they're going really wide. I could also, like... No, it feels better to spin and crack. Because I just want to stay alive. Double strike when it ETBs, you... Oh, that's true. I forgot about that, DC. I guess they weren't worried about it yet. So I guess we're doing fine. This one's a double striker. This does give you... Yes, we could puzzle into Colossus. Does that give us enough? Because we're going to have four, six, seven, eight. No, no. DC's trying to juke me. Holy shit. That does not work. I think if that's the case, I do just want to... The greatest power among creatures... Yeah, so I'm going to Pima. And I guess I don't actually want them to know what I'm marveling into. So I'm going to give them the shot to like blow up the marvel, which is fine. But I want them to attack with a source, the Scrapper Champion and hopefully we get to juke at one of the attacks. Because they're going to just jam with everyone. Let them do that. Okay. Alright, we need something good. That counts. Yeah, I just thought that maybe they wouldn't do it, Ark, and it, it was worth it to... Um... So this thing has double strike, huh? Maybe I don't even want to pop the Ruinous Gremlin, because I don't really... This forces the issue in that they have to pop up my Marvel. I guess it's fine if they pop up my Marvel right now. I get to eat the champion and I get hit for three and then I can just play another Arborback Stomper next turn or something. Like force them to commit. And hope that they don't have some burn because that would really mess up my Stomper. That's true, way too dumb. Yeah, that's true too. It... it, it it, like, reduces the amount of mana they can use here for combat tricks. Which is true. This cracks for three? No, two. And it makes a colorless servo. Yeah, but there are three mana burn spells, so this does, like, limit the amount of stuff that they can do this turn, which is something. It's not a whole lot. Okay. I accept. Yeah, I, I, I get that feel too, Lunch. That's the read I got, also. It's fine if it makes the Colossus uncastable. We can work our way towards it. Okay. It's time to play another Arbor Backstomper, I guess. What does that do when it cracks? Uh, deals da one damage to any target. And it's for three? That sucks. I guess if I put both of them in front of the scrapper, 
will lose the Stomper, but they have to give one damage to the Stomper and then the Pima Aether Seer. Yeah, no, we can we can double block DC. Oh, they chose not to. Okay, that's fine. Let me play this. Yeah, no worries, DC. We all have those days. We really all do. I don't really want to crack the puzzle knots because I would just want to make the metal work Colossus cheaper. So this is minus four. And I can play this. And we can start using the energy just to um, scry. That's totally fine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we get one more, we could scry upkeep. That's a little risky though. I'd rather just draw, because if we draw spell, we're happy, and if we draw land, we're happy. Or we could draw a Gear Seeker Serpent and be very unhappy. <laughs> Oh man, good beats. All right, here we go. Now we can scry with a Ether Theorist at least. That was some kick W. Holy shit! We just spell we're happy. Wee. Oh, Gooby Gooby. <laughs> Is that the perfect draw? Didn't exist. For real, dude. I really didn't think there was. Oh no, three damage to target creature or X is three plus number of artifacts you control. I mean. That card is good. <sighs> I don't know. Like, that card is good, but it's not as good as getting a land and it's not as good as getting a green sword or a blue source. Yeah, this is like really close. I guess I'll keep it. That card is fine. The worst that could happen is if is we get another uncastable card, something stupid. Doesn't seem like we have that many more uncastable cards in our hand. We've gained a lot of life, so we're actually in like okay shape, I think. Okay. Okay, they didn't have an immediate burn spell there. Okay. Nice. Let's start with you. Nice. You love to see it. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna attack. If they have a way of removing my Metal War Colossus, I'm just gonna take four from these. I don't really want that. All right. We're in the money now. Start attacking. Sure. Energy doesn't do shit. Uh, what does the red expertise do again? I, I don't even remember. So this is sacrifice to artifacts. I'm not gonna crack the puzzle knots because if in case we have to. Oh, now we're Gucci. One, two. Actually, do we even need to? They have to chump this guy, right? And then they we could leave the Voyager back. Just attack with those two. Yeah, they didn't unblock it. I don't know, I just don't want to lose out of nowhere from the, like, the red-white deck. I just feel like leaving this guy back for one turn and the next turn we send with this unblockable this guy and send with this guy. Yeah, those tokens are actually sack this, gain 10 life. Really strong tokens. So we've been able to rally from losing Aetherworks Marvel, which is nice. Yes, I do think Blossoming Defense stops all, like, any any threaten bullshit, basically. Get a limited deck with Colossus. Jit Turkey check. No Jit Turkey. Record. Uh, we're undefeated, BK. I think we have four wins or three wins. Yes. 
a marvelous amount of wins. It's been good. It's been good for sure. I think we're 4-0. Ooh, we're playing against the Grim Reaper, yo. Oh, no. Oh my god, BK. <laughs> So we have all islands, the Servant of the Conduit, and the Woodweaver's Puzzle Note, and the Bestiary. I'm gonna keep this. It's like a little sketchy. We just need to draw a green source. Yes! Shit. Amazing. Amazing! How could this ever go wrong, Ark? It never could. You knew that it couldn't. Um... Into three mana, then they're not doing anything else. I guess we could just run out the Imperial Voyager, maybe. They'll counter that for sure. <laughs> oh my god, that stonks him out. Do I only have rares? It does look like it. You like Rishkar or Bestiary more? If we're gonna do that, then they might as well just commit to the Rishkar. So if we're here, we might as well just go all in. The counter spells, I think, are just the three mana one that has improvise. Is the deck tracker high? It has seemed like it, yes. Uh, Revolutionary rebuff and metallic rebuke. What does rebuff do again? I don't even remember. Rejection? Malfunction. That's too bad. Uh, yeah, I think we want to set up... Get Bestiary going and play Puzzle Knot. And then next turn we can go Imperial Voyager into draw. Oh, I don't remember that card, DC. I I, that sounds like something the Magic Community did, though. Like, so, so definitely. Glimmer of Genius. Ah, uh, nah. Bap, bap, bap. Let's play the Voyager into draw. Oh, woo! Love it. Let me play this guy and... I'm not even going to bother with a puzzle knot. We can start attacking. I don't, I don't, I don't even remember Milkman. This was so long ago, I, I really have a hard time remembering it. Turts. Turts is actually... I mean, we should actually just try to find Marvel, I think. Let me bottom it. Marvel's just such a better draw. And to nothing. This one, when it attacks, you can make stuffs. That's true. The turtle is good because it just redraws. I don't know. Hey, Ducati! Thank you for the Prime Gaming. I appreciate that. Yeah, turtle is good. Yeah, maybe I should have just kept it. Let me go ahead and attack with both of these. This does have first strike. That's fine. Oh no. I got a little something something. Plus four plus oh and gains trample until on the turn. That's whatever. I'm not too worried about that. One, two, three, four, five. Stomper. Yep. I want them to play something good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Alright, amazing. Tune with Ether. It does get us our white source and I don't think we need it, honestly. All right, we're going to do some haggling. Are you ready? Can you not tap me so heinously? Like that. Um, Choose the puzzle knot and gear secret serpent. Trade Z's. Another one of these.
Yo, this uh, shrewd negotiation has been really good in this deck. <laughs> Trading a Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot for like their best creature has been incredible. Yeah, here, take this useless Puzzle Knot. Yeah, shrewd negotiations was good. It was honestly like this. It's been better in this deck than I remember. I think that's more what I want to say. Like, I remember liking that card because you could always draft the Puzzle Knots and then trade for the good stuff. Yeah, it, it's like a... Oh, I remember this guy. He wasn't very good, if I remember correctly. When ETBs... I mean, it was good. It was just, like, hard to pull this off. You make two Thopters, and that's it. Ah. Uh... I'm not gonna bother. Uh, this is six, right? Oh, I probably shouldn't even bother. I should probably just play my forest and then try to kill them. Yeah, I should probably do that. Hmm. Yeah, I ended up not drawing Limp. Oh, wow, they had Aether Trade Winds. That is not really something I'm that worried about. If they want to trade all of this, I think I am happy to. It it, it was nice for them because they, um, they get their Serpent back, but... Wait, did they not realize I had Trample? I was gonna say, their blocks are just awful. Nice. Yeah, they threw away two creatures and then they also died. So you know that didn't that turn didn't really work out very well for them. Yes, that two three flyer does not look like it should have trample. We're five zero. Oh. This one, unfortunately, we have to send back, I think. If we draw a green source, I we, I go first. Uh, I think we got to send it back. It's not good enough. This one looks okay. I can send back the Blossoming Defense. Keep up the Fabrication Module. All these guys. Probably Ark. God, hold on. There was another conspiracy theory that we started talking about the other day. I'm trying to remember what it was. You want a slow roll until we can get the fabrication module going, BK? I kind of want it too. I'm in for that. You don't have to convince me. You had to do no convincing, yo. Um. No, I don't want to. I want to try to draw land. I could have maybe played the theorist to shoot. Okay, so now I have to play the theorist so that we can scry. I'm going to set an upkeep stop. I was just... Seeing if I could spike the land DC. That's fine. I just wanted to spike the land arc. Mostly just that. Draw. Let me remove this. Go to main. Because any of these guys will just put counters. Oh, I know, arc. I just want to... I don't think we're in any rush, and I think uh, with Fabrication Module, we just want all the things that make energy. It's for the module. It's for the module. We're doing this for the module. Next turn, we get to go Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot Thriving Turtle, and okay, we don't have to scry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so step one. Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot. And uh, step two hurts and now the chief of the foundry can no longer do the thing 
Plus, we can start attacking with a turtle and putting counters there if we want. We just need to get a green source. That's basically it. So we still get to Marvel here, if even if I use... Whenever shield, ether, thief blocks, you get an energy. You pay three energy, draw a card. Mm. That does give counters and stuff, but I kind of just want a green source. Best Jerry is fine. You'll allow it. Thanks, PK. I know, we need the forest. It'll be fine. We just have to eat their theories into the forest and then we're in good shape. It's awkward though because a theory Imperial Voyager, we're not gonna be able to draw as soon as we play. That's fine. I need my forest. My forest. Yo, Court of Calls, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate that. How are you, Alex? We're playing some Kaladish. I don't think we want that. Come on, baby! Yes! Amazing! You love to see it. So, I think this turn we just go Imperial Voyager. And we aren't going to be able to, to draw. You just came from Kalish ourselves! Love it! I love it. Or I could slow roll and then go Attune with Aether to get a green source. And then next turn we can go Imperial Voyager into draw. You like getting the Voyager down? Yeah, maybe I'd just do that. I like it, BK. I can't Blazer yet, um, Darzog. I don't have the white source. I don't want to attack this into this because they get energy. We're gonna start putting energy. We're gonna start putting the counters on here because then it's gonna pop off. Oh, sorry, there is a white source in the battlefield. Sorry, but we can't blazer into draw two because we don't have the mana. Oh, I guess we could have done that next turn, maybe. Yeah, I I really like getting the Voyager down, but yeah, there's definitely merit to the other one. Malfunction. Yeah. My Voyager is now dysfunctional. It's too bad. I still think I want to scry into green sources. I think with Best Jerry, I really want a green source. F. What up, gamers? Hey, Daka. How are you? It's good to see you. This does not look good. Sorry. Sorry, Stomperino. Come on, baby. That does play me the Cloud Blazer. I'll probably keep that. Good bottom. I think playing the Cloud Blazer sounds pretty nice. I just want to blaze it. 420 blaze it, baby. Nice! Love it! Alright, alright. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. With a tune with Ether, we have exactly enough, right? So we don't want to actually scry with you. No! That is fine. We'll just attune into Marvel. Do I do coaching for magic? I do not, Fiend. I just stream. Oh, they're getting in there. Yeah, I don't really care. Well, that's just that's just Roddy, but I like I like the plan that we're taking. I think the plan we're taking is pretty nice. 420 cloud blaze it is. You can't really ask for more. Uh, I can just send this to the bot. Uh, we just need another green source before I'm playing that stuff. We just there you go. There you go. Cool. A tune with ether first. We can just get a green source. No. 
Um, let's start putting the counters on. <laughs> Molly is here to keep me honest. It's true. Marvel is six. Six energy. Molly is here to keep me honest. I appreciate the work you do, Molly. Please don't counter this. Okay, cool. We did the thing. Ba -ba -ba -da -da -da. Ooh. Wow, Rish Car's so cool. Because I could just Rish Car into put counter on Thriving Turtle and Cloud Blazer, or I could just Arbor Back Stomper. I probably should just Stomper. Get the big boy going. Oh, shit! Alright, I'm gonna slow. I shouldn't slow roll the Metal War Colossus. I should just play it. I'm just gonna play it. Yes, I'll play my zero mana ten ten. I just wanted to draw a card, okay? I was just considering it. I was considering the card. This is three to draw a card. I don't really want to let them. Let me just hit with a cloud blazy. We are doing it. We are, in fact, doing the thing. <laughs> oh, you daddy, this whole deck has been magical Christmas land. It's been really great. It's cool to have a comeback to Kaladesh with like a really banger deck like this one. Sky Sovereign, that's a hell of a card. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we can make it so that the Sky Sovereign doesn't block the Arbor back profitably. We can do that by putting counters on this and then next turn we can Servant this into Spin. I'm surprised. Okay, okay, that was like a weird attack. Um, yeah. I will do that. I accept. I will take it, baby. 10 energy sounds lovely. I do want to draw. Spin to win! Uh, let me put it over here. Okay. Um. We can just send with everybody, right? And then we might even be able to juke them with the Aetherworks Marvel. Servant for another counter. We could servant. I guess we don't get to draw. Yeah, that seems fine, though. I like it. I like it. That makes the Sky Sovereign block very badly. Yeah, I don't even know we want to use the Pima Aether Siri. It seems kind of medium. Okay, there you go. That looks nice. Let me attack with all of this. They're off it. Yeah, the Pima Aether Siri and vehicles don't work very well because, like, by the time they're... Act like, if they activate the vehicle, they probably wanted to block with the vehicle. So it's like, you don't get that much from making them attack and also if they don't want to attack with a thing they can just crew which is a way that they just tap it's just a little awkward a maxwell yes this deck is getting there we're currently at boss fight <laughs> we're marveling in draft yes i can show you look at this beautiful beautiful i'm just i'm gonna save it i'm gonna tweet this deck is so amazing Ether works Marvel. All right, we're gonna deliver to Fat Aaron. Would have loved to have played without mana screw, but your deck is awesome. Oh yeah, I'm sorry about that, Iron Tom. Thank you. This this deck turned out turned out really nicely. We just need to get that uh that Ether works Marvel going. Ooh, woo, Colossus. Don't mind if I do. Start playing these guys. I think this is a key. This one makes one ones when it attacks. Makes little servos. Um, sure. Can attack. Put another one. I don't think we send this hand back. I don't know. It's not the best. What is 
that guy do again? When it ETBs, you get four energy. Pay two, deals one damage. To target creature. Oh That's shit, that voice. thing's gonna fuck us up. And then you pay one, two, three. Wh how much is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six damage to target player Planeswalker. Hmm. I would have loved to draw land there so we could also hold up the blossoming defense for when they activate it. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna try to. J I don't know. Yo, Squirrel! Thank you so much for the 63 festivals greater than quest. I agree. Welcome back with the 63, Squirrel. I appreciate that. I'll just play the puzzle mod. It's fine. It's not first strike or anything. I don't really want to attack into the servo, though. Sure. I, I'm trying to believe Lunch Supper. It doesn't look like we're going to get there. Where do we even find them? Oh, shit. I forgot that card was in the format. Eh. Okay. Oh, no. Come on. that do again? When it ETBs, you may search your library for another self-assembler and put it into your hand, shuffle your library. Yeah, Aether Super is doing good work. Look at how much it's made. Hmm, there you go. That's a start. Though they do have a bunch of self-assemblers now, though this does stop everything else from attacking. Oh, I agree, BK. I, it's not a great hand. I just didn't think it was a mulligan. It obviously hasn't worked out. So... What does this guy do again? For each kind of counter and target permanent or player, give that permanent or player another counter. What's our plan here? Play turtle hold a blossoming defense. They're probably gonna try to kill some of our stuff and then we can hold up with a blossoming defense. We need to just draw another card for the cloud blazer. Maybe we'll try to eat the self-assembler next turn with blossoming defense or something. Crack this thing to gain some life. Oh man, Super and Era of Innovation is a good engine. I can't really have them do that. That's no good though. Alright, we just need a land. If we draw a land and play the Cloud Blazer, I think we're kind of okay. Ugh. It does. It's true, BK. This is true. So they can deal one damage. I can block that there to kill, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's four, five, six, seven. I might have to chump with turts. They're at three energy and this deals one. I wish I had a two power creature attacking. I'm just gonna block here. Look at my chat, they look so smart. We're in troubles. Yeah, that's not enough. Yeah, maybe we negotiate. If we had drawn the land, maybe we negotiate and give them the puzzle knot and we take something of theirs that's big. I don't know. We were in a really bad spot there.
Maldu, and a thank you for the 16. I very much appreciate that. Welcome back, friend. It's good to see you. Wait, what happened? I was doing some hype in the chat. It disappeared. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, it's true, Toads. I mean, the Stomper was good at getting us five if we had both the Stomper and Drew the land to, to play it, but it also did, doesn't work, you know? <laughs> Yeah, what do you think this, like, uh, secret lair thing they announced today is about? Is it any good? Is it a Bob Ross lair? I thought it was just, like, I thought they just announced that it was, like, super secret lair is coming or something like that. Oh, man. This one's a little sketchy. We can go... Island Island Theorist Scry for a green source, and then we get Bestiary going. But once we've played the Theorist... Yes, I did see that there was maybe like a Sub McKinnon secret layer, which that one sounds really cool. It's about Hasbro hemorrhage and money, but also Bob Ross art. True! There was another one today, Molly. Yeah, I was looking at it and I was like, I don't understand. Do we keep this one? This one's also really close. If we hit a green source, we're Gucci-ish. I think this is like a little... I don't know. I'm just gonna mulligan. I'm not loving this hand. This one I can get behind. I know I can be kid, but then once we play the Theorist, the rest of the hand just doesn't do that much, right? Yeah, this one's good. This one we can put down... We can put back the forest. Oh, the bestiary is really good. I guess if we get a green source and then small creatures to play with the bestiary, we're in good shape. I don't know. I was a little nervous about keeping a loose one. Especially after keeping a loose one. It sounds cool creative. I just, I can't bring myself to care about secret layers anymore after there's been so many. I liked the secret layer birds one. That's the last one that I liked. <laughs> Mono sages of Shayla's claim. Next turn I can play this again, and then I can Marvel Spin. Yes, the Yargle one was horrendous. It was actually awful. Audacious Infiltrator can't be blocked by artifact creatures. Except... I'll just attack, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna Marvel next turn. Yeah, we're gonna spin to win, baby. Colossus would be so sweet. Beefcake, thank you for using your prime sub here. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, woo. Are they gonna pick up? They're not picking up. They're not attacking either. Mistake. Jerry, it is. I am just gonna chill. No real, no, no, no real reason to attack. I also want to have some creatures around for the Pima Aethers here, though I guess the Pima Aethers here will see herself. Oh. When Spire Patrol enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controller. Next untap stuff. Block here. Puzzle Knot. Puzzle Knot lets us see a bunch of cards. In fact, this turn... Oh, we can't both Voyager into Puzzle Knot. That's a little awkward. I do think I keep this. But I'm gonna play the Pima Aether Seer, I think. We could also just bottom and try to hit land. That might just be better. You think you might ship? You like bottoming? Uh, yeah, this looks not too bad. Super awkward with um, the bestiary because we still don't have another green source. I'm just going to play Rush Car and put counters though. And then we have a bunch of green sources even though we don't get any right now. Ding dong. Yeah, it's true. It's true, BK. Maybe next turn we're just going to go off. 
play a bunch of stuff and also draw from bestiary. Probably want to play this guy. Sure. I accept. This is when you cast it, right? Whenever you cast a creature spell. So we can go... Pima, Aether Seer into top would be pretty good. Or Imperial Voyager into top is also good. Don't think I want islands. They're looking at Marvel. They're probably scared of my Marvel, yo. I too would be scared. Can you not tap me so heinously? Ooh, woo. <laughs> oh my god, Ark. <laughs> that's really good. Oh man, that's really good. So we're not that close to spinning the Marvel. I can send with both of these, though. I don't think it's like that big a deal to send with both of these. This one's not going to die. I mean, I guess it can if they have a trick. And I don't care if the Sage of Sheila's Claim dies. That was a really good finale reference, Squirrel. That was really good. <laughs> oh, they're, they're taking it. Love it. Yeah, I actually am interested in the Sage dying. I think, unfortunately, right now we're on the... Oh, shit. Mm. That was stupid. Yeah, that card's good. That explains why they don't want to trade the aviary mechanic, too. Um... So... This actually... Reasonable... Because I can go... Ether Theorist draw and then play Sage and spin. It's kind of bad. Maybe I just want lands. Yo, windshield! Welcome. Fabrication module A. Yeah, I kind of also just want lands. Whatever we play here, though, needs to be um, dubs. So I think it can be Sage of Shale. I might not draw. I think I might just do Sage of Shale's claim. Plus Rish card to get the board back. Or Sage into Voyager. Then Spin. And then we have a blocker for that too. That seems better. Alright, so let's go Sage. Decline. Voyager. Spin. Yeah, we wasted some mana, but that's fine. Let me actually do this now so they can't counter me. Cloud Blazer looks pretty deez. Nice, and we made our land drop, baby! Yeah, that was not bad. Nice turn, considering we had every single permanent... I mean, I guess not our artifacts, but most of our permanents bounced last time. We are ready to stomper. They're looking at my Voyager. They're scared. Yeah, it was definitely third or fourth best turn, not the best turn. The best turn we had was the one where we, like... Spun into something else to draw with Bestiary to then play Metal World Colossus for zero, I think. What is that one? Flying Fabricate for one. Ah, uh, how cheap is this? This gets pretty cheap with my Bestiary, too. Because I have Marvel and Bestiary, so that's four plus three is seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. So, I want. What do I want? I want to make... I want to play the module. Yeah, one, two, three. So let's play module... into Colossus Draw, probably with that. Draw. Nice, nice, we gotta land. You wanted to rich oh rich card into Colossus also works. It doesn't make things cheaper for this. 
No attacks. Yo, nice, Unknown. That's cool. I just wanted to play the module to make the Colossus a little cheaper, BK. Because I feel like over the next couple of turns, I'm probably just going to start playing Stompers. Also, I can... Mmm. They've got lots of blockies. I think just like that. Nice. You're all good, real milkman. No worries. Uh, yeah, I might as well start going here. This thing doesn't really need to be bigger. We've got the combo assembled. Look at that, baby. They have to block next turn, too. I like Turt. Turt is pretty good with uh, Bestiary. It also makes energy. This deck is beautiful. It's so good. I think we should just attack with both to start. Um... Oh, they do have something. Interesting. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked to start. Because they have the Chomp. Hey, Kilo Diego. I'm good. I've been good. Thanks for asking. They might have the double bounce thing. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, they did have a trade win. So they're bouncing their thingy and my thingy. That's honestly not that big a deal. Yeah, that was a good read, Molly. You had the read. Let's just not die to nonsense, I think. Is like the... Hold on, no. One, two, three, four, five. That lets us play... Arborback Stomper plus Thing and Turtle? Oh, sorry. We're not in our main phase. You're correct. We, we should go to damage. Nothing happens. Okay, so then go one, two, three, four, five. Play Stomperino. Puzzle or not. Um, into Colossus. I should play Colossus into Aether Seer for a spin. Honestly, I don't want to. I, I just want to make sure I don't die. I'm at 15. They, they can't win. They could win if something stupid happens and then I just take lethal damage for no reason. This is a draft, Hats. We're like so far ahead, you know? Uh, yeah, that seems fine. That cantrips. Mm. Let's put counters on stuff to force chumps. That that sounds like a good plan. So let's start with this. How many cards do I have? 18 into draw. Sounds Gucci. That triggers the fabrication module. Let's put the counter on the stomper. Let's go one, two. Um, I think I'd rather play the Seer, so I'm going to decline this one. We have so much energy anyway. Put that on here. And then lastly, for a final trick, play this guy. Get a million energy. Put it on... I think it's just better to keep putting it on that guy. We can even marvel, but we don't have to do that yet. All right, so we're gonna use Etherworks Marvel there. Oh, they're just choosing to die. To be fair, I don't think they could possibly recover from there. Like they needed to have a wrath or something. Like, the White Gear Hulk doesn't even do it, right? <laughs> I like that mood. They like made some blocks and then they were like, "Nah," <laughs> they're just off it. I can't blame them. Wow, this deck was incredible, chat. We only lost one that I kept the loose one. And it didn't work out. Hey, Battle Ram. Welcome, welcome. Nice. Let's open some boosties. Ship them. 
For real, Arik. I don't I don't know if we can, can get better than that. Hey, speaking of the gear hulks. This card was cool. It wasn't like good, but it was cool. That deck, the, the draft was so cool, BK. It was so cool. And I lied to you? Excuse you? How did I lie to you? I said fun was canceled in 2020. Oh man, wildest dream. You played that card a bit in modern. You probably played it in some like, like, some nonsense, like, play a village, draw a village deck. Just like, play my artifact, get a 1-1 Thopter, pick it back up again to do something. Like, paradoxical outcome bullshit, probably. Yes, it was in one of the Tezzeret bullshit decks. Oh, I know, Molly. Padim can't end in a normal deck. It, it always has to end up in a, in a bullshit deck. Let me wrap up this video real quick. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the most amazing throwback uh, Kaladesh draft. That was really cool. Uh, Aetherworks Marvel. Those decks never come together, like... I've drafted Aetherworks Marvel a lot in the set, and a lot of times you just end up in these decks that, like, marvel for nothing. But this one was a wonderful deck. Um, if you would like to see other videos, other Kaladesh drafts and stuff like that, they're on YouTube.com slash Sparts. And if you would like to support the stream and channel, you can both subscribe. And if you're shopping on channelfireball.com and use the code Gabby, G-A-B-Y, that also directly helps support the stream. Thanks for watching, YouTube. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.